My thumb rests on the dot behind the horse's ear. I'm going to be palpating the left side of the horse's pole. My fingers on the right side of the horse's neck are flat and support the horse's head as I get ready to press into that point to see if I get a pain response. Here I palpate. I poke the point with my thumb and the horse responds by lifting his head. Now I put the horse in a preferred position, lifting the horse's head to relax the muscles at the pole. I'm going to slightly twist the horse's jaw and then I bump from my positioning hand to the monitoring hand for the release. Rocker shows a big release in his pole. Often with a pole release you'll get a little head shaking. Sometimes we get a yawn. For the palpation is a firm, quick poke. I want to show my hand position on the other side to show you how I support the horse's neck with a flat hand on the other side of the horse's neck. Here I palpate, poking into the point, and Rocker lifts his head in a pain response. I bring Rocker's head around gently with the halter, feeling for release under my hand. Rocker's into the process at this point and begins to release right away as the muscle fills with blood. With a very slight bump from my monitoring hand to my positioning hand, I facilitate a release. And you don't need to count the vertebrae. You just go down inch by inch and if you find a pain spot, again like I found this first little one, you're going to release it. You can see that I'm relaxing my hands. I let my hands sink in. Now I lift slightly, keeping full contact with the skin but lightening my hands. My arm position is good with my forearms resting lightly on the horse. Now I'm going to begin the slight figure eight movement. And you can see that the point that was in pain is right between my two hands. Here I move my hands gently and you can see the skin moving with them. You'll start at the spine, press in, and you'll feel the top of the ribs. You can see that the ribs extend back and end about where the green dots begin. Press firmly into each spot. Rocker is a very stoic horse. Most horses you would never want to press this hard. As I work my way back, I look for a pain response. Here I show hand position. I rest my three fingers on top of the point I'm going to work and plant my hand with my palm, thumb, and fingers supporting my hand while I gently move my fingers in that slight figure eight pattern. The movement is tiny. The joints in my fingers remain slightly bent to keep them from being too stiff. I support the horse with my other hand. It's always best to work with two hands on the horse. I palpate the hip point and you can see that he is dipping his back. I stand rocker on his toe. I take his hock in one hand and his stifle in the other and I gently waggle the leg back and forth encouraging relaxation. I waggle the leg. 
I watch the horse. I wait for him to breathe out. When the leg is completely relaxed, I give a gentle bump with a stifle towards the belly. I'm opportunistic here and give it two little bumps just to make sure that it takes. The palpation point for the hip is actually at the top of the pelvis on the ilio wing. Since I'm using both hands, I can't use one as a position hand and one as a monitoring hand. So as I take the hawk, I bring the leg in and underneath the horse. A slight bump towards the horse's lumbar spine facilitates the release. 